I just want to say before this video starts, I do apologise for the bad quality um, of the sound and the small screen size. It's because I had to record with OBS, not flaps. Because when I tried to record with flaps, it crashed and it does not work. So I had to record with OBS. So the picture's a little bit smaller, the sound is worse. It's not HD, I think. I'm in the middle of recording this right now. So, no. But it, uh, it's still a good game. So, it's still still good. I hope you enjoy. So, let's move into the video. Hello and welcome to Titanic Online Glory Demo 2. So, let's get right into this game. So, we're into the demo. So, here we are in the game. So,. Nothing's really changed from this angle, apart from there was a curtain here. Uh, ooh, it's quite dark here. And it's morning. I mean, light or whatever. Nice, calm ocean. There's a rumbling noise in the distance. Oh, that's, that's really dark. These don't open. Can not go down there? And here we are, we're back to the... Still don't know what this room is called. This side is white for some reason. Okay. Yep, that still makes that noise. Thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, there's, there's nothing much and nothing's changed apart from Oh, you can actually see into the dining room. That's a big improvement from the last demo. Just pitch like, is the person over here still? Yeah, no. No. I called it Jeff, but it's not here. Standing right there. Um. The hell is that? Is that a person? Oh, come on. With the, the, the people. That's a person. Yep, memories. So let's try with the. Wait, I'm gonna try down here. Then we can work our way up. Like we're doing every single Titanic game. Okay, that's a bit weird. Nothing. Probably nothing down there. Uh cooling room. Yep. Nothing change. Mellows change. So this is still a pretty cool room. Don't remember that chair being there the last time. I never I thought there was a bed here. Yeah I remember there's been a bed here. I must have moved that. Oh yeah there's the lich bath I was talking about. I think that I think that's one. I might be wrong, it just might be a a coffin or something. It's a little bit weird, might just want to shut that door. Can I go through here? Nope. So. Go stop go stop running because I just feel motion sick from this this movement about. That is a nice reflection. Shadows a little bit no. Mm. Rough on the edges, but you know, with that reflection, I don't really care. Yeah, I'm supposed to build a tiny bit there. These rooms, nope. I, I love that reflection. I love how it just looks like there's footprints and it's all dirty and stuff. Just It looks more realistic than, well, for the Titanic. Oh yeah, I've been thinking about this. A cool feature what I think that they should add add into the full game is that when it's sinking, I think you should be able to open these portholes and if you do, it should you know, flood this room quicker. Now that would be a cool little feature. I mean, just an idea I had, you know. Chances of a developer watching this? Well, zero, you know, so just an idea I had, you know. 
I mean, it would make it a little bit more realistic, but then it would increase the flooding, and then it won't make it two hours and fourteen minutes. It's I might make it. Well, I might change the time and sync. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I right, just multicolored door now. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so that's a yeah, that's a feature. Is this? It's quite quite quiet in here, it's kind of creepy, just the only thing you can hear is just a rumbling, and that's probably the engines yeah, if I see a person then yeah, that's going to be basically a horror game on a ship heaters still out of order those chairs reflections are amazing just curtains Oh, it's this bit again. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's just an open window. Yeah, so like, you know, if the, if the water was on this level, if you open that window, water would just come in faster. That would be a cool feature. Yeah. Picture of someone. Oh, there you go. There's a, there's a lift thing. Weird reflection. Yeah. So there's a lift, and this one doesn't say out of order, but the rest of them do. There's the deck thing. Nice. Can go up any further, and that's the. Yep, that's the dome up the top. B deck. Yep. Go down a bit. Wow, and the the wood reflections are amazing. Just standing here, and you can see the little reflections. It just looks like real wood, not like cheap for the Titanic wood. I really like how there's just little bits of gold up there, and just little detailing up there. Oh, a barber shop with nothing in it. A tiny staircase with. Oh, this is the. Oh, excuse me. Yep, this is the aft staircase thing. I think that's what it's called, yeah. Looks really cool. And there's the famous storm. Well, well it's not the front one, but it's close to this little. Oh, here's the famous dome. I mean, it's not the front one, but this is the closest we're going to get until this game gets released. That looks... Is that 2D? Oh, that's kind of 2D-ish. From a distance, that looks 3D, but up close, it's just 2D image. I mean, it's not that big of a form, you know? It looks a lot smaller when you're here. I thought we I I've always thought it would be a much bigger, but no, it's not that big, you know. Uh there's the smoking room. Still more heaters, more couches thing. Okay. Cabin. Yeah, I would hate that, just having, you know, if you're sleeping there and you just see someone putting their face against the window just looking at you. Like, like, like there's no curtains or anything, so that might be a downside to this bedroom. A fan, camera, the weirdest reflections in the world. Something in that sink, it looks like there's like murky water at the bottom of that. Fine. Run along here. Um, there's the lounge with all this lovely carved wood. Wow. This is the, probably one of the best games I've played. Well, it's, it's a demo, but, but when the full game gets gets released, 
keep starting for some reason. And I see a little bit of glitch there, but it's fine. I forgot the person who stayed in this cabin, it was the designer of the ship. I cannot think of the, the name. Again, no curtains. Like a black hole coloured. That's that's quite weird and scary. Just gonna leave that alone. Yeah, that's just weird. Okay, let's go to the famous cafe thing. The most uncomfy chairs in the world and the tiniest chairs. Wow, who would sit on these? Like Wow. Like, children chairs maybe? I don't know. Wow, that just looks amazing. Just so you can look out the window. Well, not fully look out the window, but it's fine. And even the clouds move. That's just amazing. Some vines. I mean, I can just imagine when the film game gets released, just like coming all the way over here like just imagine people being out here just eating drinking and just sitting here and just watching the sea go past and that would be amazing just seeing the wow I think I've said it too much that this game is amazing but it is amazing I do like Just Cause 3, but this game probably one of my favourites, because I do like the Titanic quite a bit, so, yeah. A nice restaurant, where the, ch where the chairs are solid. Okay, so, oh, that reflection's kind of weird, just, wow, okay, that's, yeah, they'll probably fix that in the final game. Oh, what's that? It's like a bit that comes up away. Is that meant to be the, this cup thing here? Come. Wow. I mean, apart from the reflections, the whole game is amazing. Just like I mean, even like the small details, like the the forks and stuff, and the flowers and stuff. Like it's just so good. Even the water, just... Oh, really? I can't get through that gap? Well, oh, sorry, boys. Nope. I mean, I can just imagine you know, being in the film game when it gets released. I just imagine all this furniture and tables and stuff that like, just going down that way and just, you know, like, being, a, being on an angle and stuff. It's just... I when it breaks up, now that would be scary, just being here and it breaks up. That would be terrifying. Like, it's the closest you're ever going to get to actually being on the Titanic and sinking. Oh, that's quite loud. I got stuck in a brown door. That's the closest you're going to get. So I think that's about it for this demo. Um, I would say that this is one of my favourite games ever. Uh, I've probably said that ten or... No, pro probably just a couple of times, but it just... It's quite a lot of times I've said that because it is. It is amazing. Yeah, for the Titanic, try to, um, like, I think I was trying to be like Honor and Glory, but I, I don't think it was. It was just trying to be its own game, but it failed on some levels. Like, it, it just failed on, like, when you went to the front of the ship, it was just n missing. Like, the, it wasn't there. Like, it wasn't the worst game I've ever played, but if the developer just fixed the bugs on it, instead of adding more things, because all, all the developer's doing is just adding more things, not fixing old things. That is why it's a bad game. Like, if the developer just fixed the bad things and kept, and just fixed the bad things, then added more things, then it would be a good game. Like, it wouldn't come close to this game, but it wouldn't be bad. It would just be a Titanic game. But I can't even call it a game because it's not. It's just something you pay a couple quid on and then you just look at it. 
and that's it. It's just I really don't know what it is, but yeah, that that's this video. Um, I'll see you on the next one. It'll probably just be a Just Cause one, or it might be a completely different new gameplay um, I'm doing. Um, uh, this is probably the last Titanic online glory I'm gonna do, or maybe the last Titanic game I'm gonna do for a while because unless Demo 3 comes out for this, or unless the game comes out, and um, the game's not gonna come out for two years now, so most likely not, so that's so it probably be a just cause, yeah, something like that. Just realised that this this is just a little hatch here. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna end the video, but it's just like just I see small details like this little hatch, and it's like what is this hatch for? Is it for like trying to smuggle through stuff into the smoking room? Like, um, what wouldn't be allowed in the smoking room? I don't know. Um. Food or something? I don't know. Just try and smuggle it. I I don't know. Just try and make up something to try and add it to. There's a little button here. Just okay. I re I I mean, there's so much things here that I don't know what does it. What does this button do? If you push it, does someone come? I mean, I mean, does someone come to like, you know, to like serve you tea or something? Biscuits, not um, the uh, the sexual one. Just no, yeah, just walk here. I should just say, would someone walk to your position? Not, yeah, okay, okay. Let's just leave that to the side. Oh yeah, a strange thing. Yeah, I only found out about Titanic on on Anglory round about the beginning of this year, like beginning of 2016. Um, this game is in, has been in development since um, 2012, um, since the 100th anniversary of you know Titanic sinking. Um, but I've only just noticed it this year, so you know. I'm kind of glad I've noticed it in 2016 because if not then I would have waited like years just to try the demo at least once back in 2015. So I'm glad I've waited until this year where I can try demo 1 and then demo 2 when it came out like a month ago, two months ago. So that wraps up the video about me talking about how much I love this game. Um, like nothing happens in this game at all, you just walk about it, you look at that nothing happens but when the real game comes out it will be absolutely incredible one of the best games I would think for a very long time in my opinion if you disagree with my opinion then you can put it in the um, the, the chat down down below thing whatever you people do probably just a bunch of 12 year olds fine so I'm gonna end this video here I hope you enjoyed this session of me talking for, uh, I have no idea how long, 10 minutes or something. Oh, I think the screen just went dimmer though. Oh, I don't think so. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Electric bath should be through here. Small chairs. And the and that they go, there are the, um, the sleeping bags. But a lot more detailed this time.